Hey y'all, welcome back. I am Dejiana and this is the channel where all things bloom. So today, as you can see from the topic, we're going to be talking on MBA programs, grad school programs, law school programs, and all of the things you need to do before applying to your dream graduate program. Now, if you're an undergrad student, you know, you're, you you may be ahead of the game. You can still gain a lot of knowledge from this. But for now, I'm going to be talking to my um, perspective graduate students because it's already happening. Like, it's already happening. So in that, we're going to start off with a quick prayer, just thanking God for everything that's around. So, God, I just want to say thank you to whoever's watching this video. Thank you to everything that you've done like just speaking to everything that you've done through us and everything that you're doing through us let us understand and know that we're living in the overflow god please guide my words and everything to make sure that everyone who is watching this video subscribing to my channel liking my channel hearts will be fed and that their souls will know that you have everything in divine order that's meant for them. Everything that's meant for them will come. And that you will use people who've already in the position, who've already had their yes, to, to let them know that the yes is coming. Although you may be waiting, don't worry. Joy comes in the morning. Amen. So, thank you, God, for just bringing us here. Because even that is enough. Oh, quick overview, aka agenda. What are we going to be talking about today? So, the first thing that we're going to touch is what is going to be my scouting process for the program that best fits me we're going to be talking about the program that best fits you how you are to know that that program best fits you and how you're going to scout out those programs and then i'm going to share a little bit about my scouting process for why i chose georgia tech mba program for my grad school experience and if you're new here don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe. I want to feed y'all. So, leave your questions below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really want you guys to have a pencil, pen, and paper down. Or have your notes, or however you want to take them. I want you to have something else so that you can take notes. Let's get into the habit of being students again since we are trying to get into our dream grad school. Before you even get to Googling top schools for lawyers... I want you to think about all the programs that have spoken to you in your journey. Journey. Start off from kindergarten all the way up into senior year of college. Which school stood out to you? Which schools did you have a genuine interaction with that kind of pulled on you? It could have been a family member graduated from that school. It could have been um, a school that gave a scholarship to your church. It could be anything that's personal to your experience. And then I want you to research those specific programs because I don't think there's no coincidence that's, that that school rubbed you um, the correct way before. I don't think that there's a coincidence that you went to that school and toured that school. Even if even though you didn't get in, maybe you didn't get a scholarship, maybe the school was too far away from home, whatever the case may be. I don't think things happen for coincidence. So look at all the schools that you've interacted with in, in your life. Which, which, what school pulled, pulled on you the most? Which schools pulled on you? And which schools um, spoke to you while you were um, just going throughout your journey? Before you even knew that you wanted to go to grad school. What schools was, uh, stood out to you? Now that you have your list, now I want you to look, research those specific schools. What are their job placements? Um, how many people from your ethnicity get into that school. I want you to do major research on those specific schools. The reason why I say this is because when it's time, this is far from now, I'm a little bit far from now, when it's time to apply, you can talk about your personal experience. This works for, this worked for me. This worked like move mountains for me to get into the school that I um, got to get into Georgia Tech because I had a personal experience with Georgia Tech that I was able to speak to. Other people are just like, yeah, I love your school. Um, I love your alumni association, etc. Like, that's one of the things that most people just always brag about the school in one of their letters. We had to write six letters. One of my letters was specifically about my personal interaction with the university. What type of mark it left on my life. And I think that really rubbed um, the admissions team really, really well. So that's my first core advice that I will give you when you are trying to figure out which grad school best fits me. Because I don't care if it's Harvard. If you write that letter and 
you're like Harvard is a hard school to get into but I have the GPA but I really just want to set myself apart when you have that essay that really pulls on the admissions team and it really um is genuine I think it's gonna set you apart I mean I know it's gonna set you apart because why not you right so this is how I got to Georgia Tech right I was an undergraduate I was an undergrad student. My minor was entrepreneurship and um, I had just sought this huge pitch competition. Like it was, I was just so excited. I'm like, I'm about to get this money. I think it was like five, I think it was the 555 Michigan. Um, and I didn't get into the, to the pitch competition. I didn't do good. And just, it was just so many things that was going through my mind. I'm just like, what am I doing? Like, this is not even my major. Like, am I wasting my time? I invested money into this. And like the school was actually helping me for my business too. So I'm just like, what am I doing? And I talked to my program director and he was like, you know, well, you know, there's wins and losses that come with, with running a business. So like, accept that like you're new to this and it, it just happens like some people are at different levels and it is what it is I'm like you're right you're right he's like but anyways we have this opportunity to go down to Georgia Tech mind you don't know what Georgia Tech is never been to Georgia Tech um and we're gonna take like three students down there you guys are gonna talk about your businesses and then we're just like really network with what they're doing down there because their program is way more advanced than ours and the entrepreneurship at Michigan State program was so new I'm like okay cool okay you know Sure. And like, of course, Michigan State paid for everything, paid for our hotel, um, lodging, food, transportation, everything's paid for. So I go down to Georgia. And when I say like the ecosystem, like the entrepreneurship, like it just gave me goosebumps. Like it just settled so well with me as a person. And I was like, wow, this is where I want to be. It wasn't necessarily that I wanted to go to Georgia Tech. I didn't know that back then. But what I did know was the black people were on fire in Georgia. Like, and aside from that, like just overall, like just the whole culture of entrepreneurship in Georgia, it's like that's where I am going to thrive. That's where I know I love Michigan, but there's nothing like Georgia. Like there's like the opportunities are just literally endless. Like how are you a undergraduate student and you just raised three hundred thousand dollars for your business while going to Georgia Tech? Like the type of stuff that happens is just like, dang, that is so cool to me so georgia's tech really left a personable um personable like mark on my heart like the georgia tech was low-key the reason why i even moved to georgia because i saw all of the potential um in the entrepreneurship like realm or ecosystem or whatever you're going to call it so that was kind of like my experience with how i knew like georgia tech was for me fast forward four years later um, we had six essays. One of my essays, I specifically wrote about that first experience, that first encounter, the mark that left on me and how inspired I was just from Georgia Tech students and everything that they're doing. And as you can imagine, four years from now, the program is way more advanced. It's better. It's just, and I was able to write about that. And I think that it just helps. Like it helps to have something personal in your application. There's so many people who are just like super good on paper, but do they rub, do they pull on the heartstrings of the people? Like at the end of the day, the people who's looking through your applications, they're human. And if they don't want you, then they don't want you and you shouldn't even want to be there anyways. Like, so that was my experience with Georgia Tech and that's how I got into my MBA program. I want you to get active on your LinkedIn. So I want you to start reaching out to people who were already in a program that you applied to or even directors in a program and say, hey, this is what I have to give. This is what I'm thinking about applying with. Do you think that there's a good chance that I would get in? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I, I wanted to go to, I think it was like, Oklahoma something they have an entrepreneurship program I was thinking about going to that school when I applied they were like hey yeah your scores are low your GRE scores are low so you know try again next year and so just like that was my first email for them that's what they told me it was just like yeah I don't want to go there like I don't feel comfortable even going there if I have to if I don't get into my dream school then the next year I'll apply but just like the first email for me just reaching out to the director and them saying that to me it just was like it was no tips it was no like um, just giving that like comfortable or like any hope or anything it's like no like they don't care about the person you are or nothing but something that stood out to me about Georgia Tech was Georgia Tech was like you know we do a holistic approach like we want to see everything that you have to offer every every part of who you are as a human being and um we'll go from there and I want you to apply like we need you like 
just that sense of comfort made me feel so good and i don't care what program you're going into i want you to feel needed in that program i want you to feel like you deserve to be there in that program i don't you want you to feel like oh yeah i'm just going to school and dragging and stuff like that this is a big investment towards your future and this is a big investment into who you're going to be as a human being um that sounds very serious but in reality if you go to a school with a strong alumni association you know that's going to set your kids up like are you are you are you really thinking big like that? Like, I'm trying to, I'm worrying about years and years from now. I'm worrying about what type of connections and meaningful people can I meet? And I didn't, I, we don't have that maturity with undergrad, but I think for grad school, I appreciate the, um, how you can authentically pick the program that best fits for you. I don't know. I think it just matters. Like, it does. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, Oklahoma, like, y'all missed out on me. Okay, guys, I hope that was not an overload. But if it was, I know that you had your pencil, your paper, your iPad out, and you were taking notes. So now I want you to take all of the little tips that I gave you, snippets, and add them to your process. You may have already have a process going. Add them to your process. Make sure you have those things because I want you to really, I want you to leave a mark on all the schools that you're applying to. I want them to be like, I need, we need her. Like, she, we need him. Like, they are what this school is missing. And, you know, don't be bound by the, the, um... The, the things that you have in your head don't don't overthink it because for me I was like I don't have the test scores like there are already schools that are emailing me back but when God says yes no man can say no you know what's for you is gonna happen and it's gonna flow and it's gonna work for you so take every single step in your process literally from kindergarten literally from start to now and apply that to those essays because you're gonna get it